Hey guys, this video is going to be a challenge overview for the I'm a Lover Challenge. And I'm doing this because I'm going to be doing a I'm a Lover Challenge Let's Play series. And I wanted to share all the rules that go along um, with the challenge in a separate video. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the storyline for your founder is all I wanted was to be a romance writer and find my own true love. And your founder is going to have to be male or female. Uh, must be a young adult, must have the romantic trait, and must have the soulmate aspiration. They're going to join the writer career and write romance novels, date one person throughout the young adult stage, marry as an adult, and they're going to marry the same person they dated as a young adult, have two kids as an adult, and that has to happen after marriage, and you're going to go on a date night every week, at least one date, and then you're going to stay with that spouse until death do you part. On to generation two. My parents kept their romance going even with two kids. I want what they had. So the recommended aspiration will be soulmate and the recommended traits are romantic and non-committal. You're going to have at least two boyfriends or girlfriends start dating in high school, go on five dates with different people. And that can mean um, one date with five different people or maybe like three dates with one person two dates with another as long as it's five dates and they're not all with the same person you're going to find your true love as a young adult get married to them right away have at least two kids then you're going to get divorced as an adult and never remarry generation three my parents couldn't stay together and they loved each other so i chose to focus on my career the recommended aspirations are either fabulously wealthy or nerd brain. You're going to become enemies with mom or dad, join the doctor or business career, and reach level five of that career. And once you do that, you're going to start looking for your potential spouse, go on several dates with one person, get married to them as an adult, have two kids, and reach the top of your career. Generation four. My parents didn't believe in love until they found each other. I think it's ridiculous. The recommended aspiration is serial, serial romantic. They're going to have more than one romantic interest at a time and never get married. They're going to move in with one of their romantic interests and become serious with them, have one kid, and then let that kid find you cheating. Generation five. My family was screwed up and I was scarred. I don't want that for my children. So the recommended aspiration will be big happy family. You're going to move out as soon as possible and never speak to your parents again. And you're going to live in a nice house, um, meaning that it's decorated and it's large enough for your family to grow into. You're going to learn all traits before dating a sim, get married to a nice sim, have as many kids as possible, then have at least one kid die, and then you're going to become antisocial. Generation 6. My parents lost one of my siblings and stopped taking care of us. I had to raise myself. The recommended aspiration is going to be successful um, lineage. You're going to always live with one sibling, cook and clean every day, start dating when sibling is working steadily and seems okay, get married as an adult, and have two children. Generation 7. My life was too perfect growing up and my parents loved each other too much. I refused to fall into that trap. So the recommended aspiration is going to be musical genius. You're going to join the entertainer career, perform on lots frequently, um, become famous. Um, now there really isn't an established Sims 4 version of fame. so. You could have your sim be super popular through lots of parties. Whatever your idea of fame is, you could use that or just do away with the become famous rule altogether. You're going to woohoo with as many sims as possible, fall in love, get married, have two kids, preferably twins, and then you're going to die before the children are teens. Generation 8. I lost a parent and it was hard on all of us. I swear not to raise a family in this condition. So the recommended aspiration is going to be Mansion Baron. You're going to start off living in poverty, get a high paying job, and then move into a mansion or a large house, adopt a baby of the same gender as you, get married, then adopt another baby of the opposite gender, and then you're going to have two kids um, of your own flesh and blood, so you're going to make them the old fashioned way. Generation 9. 
My parents raised me to be polite. They also arranged me to get married to someone I have never met before. So your recommended aspiration is friend of the world. You're going to meet future spouse, disapprove of them, go on a date with them, start to like them, get married to them, but sleep in separate beds and have only one child. And on to the final generation, generation 10. I was an only child whose parents barely knew each other. Maybe I can discover the secrets of love through my family's past. The recommended aspiration is Renaissance Sim, and you're going to visit every family member's grave, build a cemetery for the family, put each generation together in different spaces, and um, basically what you're going to do is build a cemetery for the family, include every generation, separate them by like fence or something, make it look really pretty and cemetery-ish. <laughs> and then um, once you're done completing that, you can go on and get married to a poor sim and start having children. And that is pretty much it for the generations. That's all, not that it's a little bit, but that's it for the 10th generation. Um, I think this is a pretty cool challenge. I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that I did not come up with this on my own. I found this um, in the Sims forums and I will definitely post a link to where I found this and I will write down these challenge rules in the description below so that way you can read it, copy and paste it and um, have it for yourself. I definitely would love for you guys to leave a comment letting me know if there's anything that you would add to this challenge or anything you would take away, just your ideas in general. And also give this video a thumbs up if you think this is pretty cool and you would like to try this yourself or this is something that you're interested in um, checking out. Also don't forget to subscribe to Simply Obsessed for the Let's Play of this challenge. You don't want to miss out on all the cool Sims awesomeness that's going to happen. So I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate you watching this video for the overview. I hope to see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.